Welcome to the Q On Demand podcast, your source for expert tips from the authors of the Q On Demand series. For more information on the topics covered in this podcast series and for bonus online content, visit QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast, home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and more. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, and welcome to another edition of Q On Demand podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about placing graphics in InDesign CS4. With a program like InDesign CS4, where you're bringing in lots of information such as text or graphics uh, into create like a newsletter or brochure or whatever you're gonna be creating, uh, placing graphics is something that you'll do quite a bit. So let's go ahead and go to the file menu and click place. And then we'll go ahead and and place a graphic. Now in the place dialog box, you can go ahead and select Um, a graphic that you want to place. And down here at the bottom, you'll notice that there are uh, two options. One is show import options, and another is replace selected item. Now, if you already have an item in your document that's selected, and you want to replace a graphic with a different graphic, then you go ahead and use the replace selected item option. But in this case, let's use the show import options. And this allows you to be able to have Uh, more flexibility, and a little more control over how you import a graphic. So let's go ahead and select the fish graphic and go ahead and click open. And then you'll notice, depending on the type of graphic that you select, the import options dialog will change or adjust based on that. And so here, this is a a Photoshop um, image. And so this allows you to be able to select different layers, like there's a fish layer, and there's also a background layer. And so you go ahead and select the layer that you want to bring in to InDesign. So that's a very powerful feature uh, in InDesign. So if you have a different color uh, profile that goes with an image, um, and a color profile basically is each graphic has a set of colors that it uses. And so you can customize this profile, and it actually is embedded inside the file So when you bring it into another program, all the colors that are associated with that file also go into InDesign as well, or whatever program that you're actually using. And the other tab is the image tab. If you have anything in Photoshop, such as a clipping path or an alpha channel, and basically those are options that you actually set in Photoshop, you go ahead and select those and then bring them in. So after we select the options that we want, we go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice in InDesign, you have what's called a loaded cursor. And you'll notice you can actually see the cursor, and it shows you a small image of the file that you selected. And so when you go ahead and click and drag, you'll notice in InDesign, you'll have an X and a Y coordinates that goes along. And it shows you what percentage uh, the graphic is going to be placed in at. So let's go ahead and select that and you'll notice that the fish graphic comes right in. Now, another powerful thing to do with a place uh, feature is you can place multiple graphics at the same time. So let's go ahead and select the fish graphic and select a key graphic and also a starfish. And then go ahead, and we're not gonna go ahead and do the show option, so let's deselect that. And we'll go ahead and click open. You'll notice you have the same cursor the loaded cursor that you had just a moment ago. Yet you'll also notice that right next to it, there's a number. And it actually shows you the number of graphics that are now loaded in it. And a very great feature about this is if you can use the arrow keys to your right and left, you can actually click on them and you can cycle through the different graphics that you want to place. So if you didn't want to place the fish graphic there and you wanted to place the starfish, you could go ahead and then click and drag that one. Now, you'll notice that the cursor is still loaded, and it went from three to two. And so you can go ahead and say, well, no, no, let's do the key graphic. And we'll go ahead and drag and place that one as well. So you notice you have the power to be able to place different graphics at different times. And let's say you decide, you know what? I already placed the fish one, so let's go ahead and I can press the escape key. And um, then you no longer need to be able to place that one. <laughs> For 
more information and bonus online content, visit QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast. Home of the visual, color, step-by-step reference guides for all your CS4 learning and lots more. QOnDemand.com forward slash podcast.